So welcome to lesson 7, Heating and Cooling of Substance. Particularly in this lesson, we are going to discuss the heating and cooling of water. How to explain the energy change during heating and cooling? So that is a question that we need to answer. So let us identify which of the following changes is endothermic. Explain your answer. But I have a question first. Do you know what is endothermic and do you know what is exothermic is? So to continue, we have carbon dioxide in gaseous state change to carbon dioxide in solid state. While letter B is a carbon dioxide in liquid state change to carbon dioxide in gaseous state. So in this diagram, it shows two arrows pointing or with a direction going to left and the direction going to the right. So these are the three states of matter. So we have solid, liquid, and gas. So these are the different properties that occur when one phase change to another phase. So let's have solid to liquid. Solid to liquid is melting. So that is the process occur. Okay. And from liquid to gas, that is vaporization. And from gas to liquid, that is condensation. Then liquid to solid, that is freezing. But when a solid jumps into change like gas that is sublimation and gas jumps to a change like solid that is deposition okay from solid to gas phase change energy is absorbed so when energy is absorbed that is endothermic while from gas to solid that is energy is released when energy is released that is called exothermic okay so remember that one solid to gas energy is absorbed endothermic so enter endo while gas to solid energy is released so exit okay exothermic so the surrounding will be hot while the other one endothermic the surrounding is cold. So now let us answer this problem. Identify which of the following changes is endothermic. Explain your answer. So we have carbon dioxide gas to carbon dioxide solid. Okay. So what happened with this one? From gas to solid. So we now know the pace change from gas to solid. So what happened with this one? Energy is released. So if energy is released, that is exothermic. So while letter B, we have liquid to gas. So that is the phase change. So what happened with this one? Energy is absorbed and that is endothermic. So our answer is letter B, which is endothermic. have the different vocabularies in our lesson so we have potential energy that is the stored energy of a substance and kinetic energy is the energy having to do with motion okay let's have this diagram so it shows a potential energy we know that pe is equal to mass multiplied by gravity multiplied by height so gravity is the same okay so height we can vary this one okay so as you increase the height, the potential energy increases, okay? So potential energy is high when an object is higher. While kinetic energy, okay, is dependent to the potential energy. So when you release the ball, okay, at its maximum speed, okay, so the kinetic energy increases. But once touch the ground, okay, no more kinetic energy.
we have heat of fusion or latent heat of fusion. So this is the additional amount of heat needed to melt a substance at a constant temperature. So we have from solid to liquid that we have heat of solidification. So this is the amount of heat needed to freeze a substance at constant temperature. So that is liquid to solid. So meaning to say that the amount of energy to melt a substance is equal to the amount of energy needed to freeze the same substance. So what is being uh, absorbed will be released. That is why it's the same amount of energy. Next, heat of vaporization. The amount of heat needed to vaporize a substance at a constant temperature. So that is liquid to gas. Heat of condensation. The amount of heat needed to condense a substance at constant temperature. So that is from gas to liquid. So the same thing happened with the solid liquid liquid to solid change. The amount of energy to vaporize a substance is equal to the amount of energy needed to condense the same substance. Heating curve. A heating curve is a graph showing the temperature of a substance plotted against the amount of energy it has absorbed. So during heating, the energy or the potential or kinetic of the substance always increases. So it shows the temperature of the liquid state and the arrangement of particles in liquid. Okay, So there is a given um, amount of heat energy. That is why this is the equation. Okay, so from liquid to gas, okay, that is 100 degrees Celsius. So liquid water changed into water vapor or gas. Okay, so we have we have what we call as enthalpy of uh, vaporization or heat of evaporation. Okay, that is the same thing. So that is additional heat to change liquid into gas. So as you will see there is an additional energy so therefore the kinetic energy increases okay but once it, the liquid stays at the gaseous level okay the kinetic energy is at constant then the potential energy increases okay then we have gas so that is above 100 degrees Celsius. So this one shows the arrangement of particles of gas. Okay, they are scattered everywhere in the container. So the next one of the concept. So for a heating curve, the temperature of the ice or solid is increasing. No? That is the condition. So increase in temperature means an increase in kinetic energy. So we all know that one. When we add a little bit or extra energy or heat energy to a substance, the substance will move very fast. At zero degrees Celsius, the ice begins to melt. During melting, the temperature stays the same. There is no change in kinetic energy. There is a change in potential energy. So the potential energy is increasing so remember that one if there is no change in kinetic energy meaning to say the temperature is the same or at constant so the graph is flat or plateau so therefore what is being changed is the potential energy okay so therefore that potential energy will increase so the temperature of water now rises from 0 degrees to 100 degrees Celsius. So we can observe here that the kinetic energy increases again because there is an additional heat energy. At 100 degrees Celsius, the water boils, changes to gas. When water boils, the temperature stays the same or constant. No change in kinetic energy. So there is a change in potential energy, so potential energy now will increase. So after all the water boils, the temperature of the gas rises, so therefore kinetic energy again will increase. So these are the 
different phases of matter. We have solid, liquid, and gas. So look at what happened when you add additional energy. So the particles will move very fast, okay? While the liquid is the same also when you add a little bit extra energy. So they will move very fast. And the same thing with gas. Cooling curve. A cooling curve is obtained when a substance cools down and changes state. During cooling, the energy, that is potential or kinetic, of the substance always decreases. The cooling curve is the reverse of the heating curve. Curve of water. So we have water in gaseous state. Once water lose its heat or decrease in temperature, the kinetic energy decreases. So there is a change now in the potential energy. So the potential energy decreases. So in this gaseous state, so we have heat okay, of vaporization. Then next one, we have liquid state. So this is the given heat energy, which is lower, okay, compared to gas. Then once liquid change to solid, so the kinetic energy decreases again. And there's a change in potential energy. The potential energy decreases. So that is the latent heat of formation. Then we have at solid state. This is the given heat energy of solid. So that is mass multiplied by the specific heat and temperature. Okay. So as you notice, once the pace of matter loses its heat or release its heat because it's exothermic, the kinetic energy decreases. So same with potential energy, it also decreases. The summary. The temperature of the gas is lowering, so the kinetic energy is decreasing. When gas changes to liquid, that is condensation, the temperature stays the same. There is a change in potential energy and the potential energy is decreasing. Then the temperature of the liquid is lowering, so kinetic energy is decreasing. When liquid changes to solid, that is solidification, the temperature remains the same. There is a change in potential energy, then potential energy is decreasing. So the temperature of the solid is lowering, kinetic energy decreases. Let's have a summary. So melting and freezing occur at the same temperature. Vaporization and condensation occur at the same temperature. During phase changes, the temperature remains constant or, plat or plateau. Question, the heating curve shows an endothermic process and why? So heating curve is endothermic because it absorbs the energy. That is why there is a change in kinetic energy and potential energy of the substance. Okay, and it increase or increases. Okay, so the cooling curve shows an exothermic process because it releases heat and kinetic energy decreases. The same with potential energy. So which two phases are present during melting and freezing? So in melting, we have solid to liquid. In freezing, we have liquid to solid. While vaporization and condensation, for vaporization, we have liquid to gas. And condensation, we have gas to liquid. 